Okay, this is just a quick video on the um, AD um, XL series. This is an AD246, uh, um, and the way you can really tell the difference between a 246 and a 946, which this is a 946. One is, as you can see, this has obviously got way more inputs and outputs. This only has one. And the other one is the back, this screen on here um, is backlit. Um, plus this has an extra menu button, which this does not. So, moving this to the side and concentrating more on the AD246. Uh, this basically is a 1.9 litre pump at 17.3 bar. In a nutshell though, um, it's just an on-off pump like our P-series. Um, but it has a screen on it um, and obviously uh, it's got a low level switch. So, very quickly, this is what we call the control panel. Looking sideways. Control panel will be in the front. The coil or EPU is this section. And then we have our wetted end down here. This is our discharge valve, our head block, and our suction valve. And over here would be our priming valve. So we twist that, we open it up like this. We have obviously a tube connected from here and it goes back towards the tank. This here, when we open it up, we would relieve the pressure in the discharge line because it means that this is open to Atmos and the liquid would come up through the head and go down and back into the tank, priming the liquid end. Then we would tighten that back up and then away it would go up and out the discharge because this is now blocked. Um, it's called a fast priming head because obviously it's only got a little space in here whereas the older ones used to have to fill up a bigger gap so it basically primes the head faster. Anyway, here's the basic overview of the um, AD246. This is for a low level switch. So we could put a low level switch into this, into our tank. When the tank would run out of chemical, pump would turn off, keeping the suction line primed. Nice and lovely. That's a standard 230, 240 volt, 50 hertz um, like plug. So it takes normal 240 volt power. And we have pretty much four controls. The power button, the up and down for the speed. So this is, controls the speed of the pump. And then the stroke knob. Um, so when I press this on, green light means it's obviously activated and working. And we're 50% on the stroke. And so if I turn this, you'll see that increase. And as a result, what it will do is it'll flick between the liters. So now I've got 1.5 liters per hour going out. But if I reduce it, let's just say back to the 50 or 50, 50%. And then we've got 0.9 of a litre going up per hour. So what I'll do is I'll ramp that right back up. So I've got another method of control. And then I can reduce the strokes, the speed of the pump. You can hear it slowing down. There we go. So yes, that's now slowing down. So as a result of slowing it down, it's now doing 0.9. So if I speed it up, go around, ramp it right back up to the top you'll see that the um, output will also change. And the output is gonna say 1.9 liters. So, two methods of controlling the chemical dose um, the, of it. There's one by the speed of the pump, one is two by the stroke knob. Um, it has a flow switch, and obviously if I turn this off, now we're gonna turn it on, away we go. Very simple, very easy. Has an IP rating, IP67. Um, excellent industrial pump and um, this liquid in by the way we standard stock PVDF so great for all acids and majority and all caustics and a number of other little puppies in between. Excellent little pump from Milton Roy LMI.